On this day in history, August 25, 1835, New York's The Sun began running a series of news accounts that falsely claimed British astronomer John Herschel had observed all sorts of animal life on the moon. It became known as the Great Moon Hoax. The articles described animals including bison, goats, unicorns, bipedal tailless beavers, and bat-like winged humanoids who built temples. There were trees, oceans, and beaches. These discoveries were supposedly made with an immense telescope of an entirely new principle. The author of the narrative was ostensibly Dr. Andrew Grant, the traveling companion and amanuensis of Sir John Herschel. But Grant was fictitious. Eventually, the authors announced that the observations had been terminated by the destruction of the telescope, by means of the sun causing the lens to act as a burning glass, setting fire to the observatory. Authorship of the article has been attributed to Richard Adams Locke, a reporter who, in August 1835, was working for the Sun. Locke publicly admitted to being the author in 1840, in a letter to the weekly paper New World. Still, rumors persisted that others were involved. Locke's intentions were probably, first, to create a sensational story which would increase sales of the Sun, and second, to ridicule some of the more extravagant astronomical theories that had recently been published. According to legend, the sense circulation increased dramatically because of the hoax and remained permanently greater than before, thereby establishing the Sun as a successful paper. It brought the journal to international fame. Herschel was initially amused by the hoax, noting that his own real observations could never be as exciting. He later became annoyed when he had to answer questions from people who believed the hoax was serious. The hoax reflected a time when readers were looking for entertainment as much as information from penny press newspapers, which would later change with the development of ethical reporting. If you're interested in learning more about this day in history, check out these books that are linked in our bio. If you use these links, you can support our page.